Today I'm going to be showing you guys the top three Irish shader packs for Minecraft Java Edition 1.21. So for all of these, you do need to have Irish shaders installed. If you don't have them yet or you're not sure where to get them, then I will link it right down in the description below. So I'm going to start off here in vanilla Minecraft so you guys know what that looks like. Anyways, all of the shader packs I'm going to look at in this video, their official links are going to be right down in the description below, all directly from the official creators, which is obviously incredibly important. Anyways, let's start off with number three which is Zeus Shaders. Some of you guys might already have heard of this one. This one is incredibly famous. Uh, Zeus stands for Sonic Elders Unbelievable Shaders. And just look at this. It is definitely unbelievable. The sky looks so beautiful. And look at this water, man. Now, I feel like my skin kind of ruins it, to be honest. But yeah, this is insane. Zeus is mainly known for the fact that they don't only add like pretty lighting and pretty skies and all that, but also incredibly realistic textures. Just compare the leaves on these trees, for example, for to those in vanilla. This is so nice. Plus, these are supposed to like really be not difficult at all on your system's performance. Irish Shaders automatically installs sodium as well, which improves uh which helps with the performance too and as you can see um i've got 32 chunks of render distance right now which is quite a lot and i'm constantly between 90 and 110 or so um fps which i mean that's pretty good especially because my system isn't necessarily the best next up we have the voyager shader pack 2.0 and i mean one of the best things about this pack is immediately obvious these volumetric clouds inside of Minecraft. These honestly look insane. For the rest, this pack also makes your world look incredibly vibrant. Just, just look at this. Sadly, this pack does have a massive impact on your performance, a lot bigger than the one I just showed you, so only if you have a good system do I recommend this pack. Um, my FPS are a little more than half of what they were with the other one, I'm not gonna lie. Just look at how incredibly beautiful it is to just stroll through this village. Voyager 2.0 shader pack is insane, man. Look at that, look at this wheat just swaying in the wind. <laughs> Looks like these cows are going for a swim. Um, anyways, if your system can handle it, then I definitely recommend Voyager 2.0. And finally, at number one, we have Super Duper Vanilla Shaders. As I said, all of these are going to be linked right down in the description below, so you can download them with Iris Shaders. That's also going to be linked there. And look at this. This is definitely my personal favorite out of the three I'm showing you today. And the reason is in the name, Vanilla Shaders. These, although they make Minecraft look incredibly different, they keep it very close to basically the core of what it is. They don't just swap out the clouds for something else. I... I I'm not a huge fan of the Minecraft clouds by default, but this looks incredibly cool. Um, if you guys watch my videos more often, I almost always have the clouds turned off, but if vanilla clouds look like this, I'd, I'd definitely keep them on. The idea behind this pack is to give you the best Minecraft shaders experience, whilst also keeping the game just feeling like vanilla, not completely swapping out the textures or anything. Just making everything look fantastic. Just look at this. The Minecraft Caves and Cliffs update was goaded. Just imagine a full survival playthrough in which your game looks like this the entire time. Just honestly insane. And the great thing is, oh, I'm freezing. I had to go ahead and equip some leather boots. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, th the great thing is, is that this one doesn't actually impact your performance that much. At least definitely not as much as the previous one. I'd say it's a little in between Zeus and Voyager 2.0. Anyways, I mean, out of all of them, I recommend this one the most. But I'd say every single one is an incredibly solid pick. So for right now, uh, that was basically that. Definitely also let me know your favorite shader pack down in the comments below if you have one. And for right now, thank you ever so much for watching. And I do, of course, hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.